Hello. Today, I don't know if this is gonna be in a whole day or if we will insert this into another day, but Jason has the part for the car and that we were gonna install it and see if it works. If you don't know, the electrical on my driver's seat has been out since probably like a year after I got the car, so a very long time. And we just got the part to fix it because we have a lowball offer on our car to sell it. I'm gonna try and bring the seller up a little bit, but then we might go ahead and set that offer. So if we can get this seat fixed, I think that will be kind of one of the last things to fix before we can finally get rid of it. And I'm really excited. Do you have the part, Jace? Yep. <laughs> Got a lumberjack here. <laughs> Go ahead. So I've already removed the uh, panel. The old component. Oh, yeah, that and the old one. So this goes like that. Ignore the airplane. I don't know if we have to turn on the car. I don't think we do. I don't remember. Okay, there we go. Does the car have to be on? Do you have the keys? <laughs> My goodness sakes. I think yes, electrical would need a car turned on. Please. Why is it not working? So we're trying to tech check the fuse, which I've already done, but there's the power seat and the rear motor or window, whatever. These here, so I've switched them. So if it's a bad fuse, the rear windshield wiper motor won't work. Shouldn't work. Power window motor? Oh, power window motor. So we'll see if the power... Anyways, one of them won't work if it's gone bad. Okay, so that fuse, it works. Still not working. All right, I'll get it. Oh, look what I found. Blockbuster card. Well, that's a blast from the past. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> Is that our address? That's it cool. wouldn't be. It's our, it's an old address. An old address. In 2006. Know, that's back the last, probably the last time we ever did a Blockbuster. <laughs> wow. So, I just watched something and I learned. There's another, a second power fuse box um, for power seating. It is all the way down here. Can you see that? It's down underneath here. So I'm gonna try to get in there and check the fuses. Hopefully it's that fuse. I bet it probably is. So I'm gonna crawl in there and see what I can do. Heated seat drivers, seat recline. Oh, I can't see anything. <sighs> I can't believe that all of them would go out. Let's pull that out. Looks identical. Let's see what that does for us. Oh, turn that off. Okay, so I just swapped out those fuses. I took one for the rear window fuse, put it in for the seat, and guess, look what happens, look what happens. Hey, that's movement. If you can tell, can you tell that's moving? Okay, so we've got movement, which means there's a couple fuses out. So I need to just go get a bunch of fuses. Well, not a bunch, but whatever. I need to get a few fuses for the seat, and we'll be back in action. So I don't know why the other video told me to check a fuse up in the main fuse box in the engine. Anyways, we're learning. All right. So now I'm going to go down to Shucks or O'Reilly's, whatever it is in town, and get some fuses. And we should be back in action with the seat. Then I will just have to get the mount and put it back together, get it back on. But then this seat should work normal. Cool. I really recommend watching YouTube videos. If there's anything you need to learn how to fix, you'll eventually find a couple videos that will teach you. I watched two like a week ago or whatever. They didn't show me. I didn't know there was another fuse box down here. But then I clicked on one and today and there's another fuse box down below that has more power seat fuses. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to fix it. So you can do anything. You can learn anything on YouTube. In fact, they should give you a degree if you pass certain tests, but uh, watch enough videos.
So anyways, I'm gonna run down and try to get a fuse. I did have to make a quick pit stop to Target because uh, Dana cleaned out the bathroom made it look beautiful but she took my drawer with my stuff in it and threw out my little fuzzy dental floss which i need for certain parts of my teeth so i had to go get some more because after our beautiful steak dinner the other night i've got some stuff there <laughs> but i'm gonna head home i'm gonna put the fuse, fuses in and i think the seat will be golden cross your fingers what we did was we got a few more little fuses here i got a deal on them too <laughs> close out anyways so that little box I showed you earlier I went and I put in took out two of these little doodads little fuses and I put two new ones in and uh, let's go see if the seat works okay so before we got there's the front back that works we got the up down forward and of course we fix backward. this after we're gonna, or right before we're gonna sell it. Down, beautiful. So now what I need to do is take off the little cowling thing, figure out how to screw it all back in, and get it secure. All right, so should I go tell the guy our, our adjusted offer on him buying Did this? Did he know about the seat? No, he didn't know about it at all. He's not... I wanted to make sure we got it fixed. Oh, yeah, before he knew it was broken? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. I know. Uh, my wife a uh, used <laughs> crooked used car dealership here. Well, I didn't want to sell the car with a part that was broken when I knew we were very possibly going to sell it. Let's go and try and sell this thing. Someone offered to buy it for a lower price than we wanted. And so I've got to try and give him, get him up. Oh, sorry, Abby. She's having her probably 10th or 11th orange of the day. No. But it's probably why she's not sick. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. See if we can sell a car. So I am now in charge of pancake dinner. It's Sunday night, normally we don't film on Sunday. But this whole car thing has, you know, it's not our normal routine for Sunday anyway. Look at my hair, let me take it down. I'll take it down just for you guys. You can tell upstairs that Chelsea and Ashley are in good moods, <laughs> which is a good thing. But Jason got that part all attached and the plastic, uh, you know, cover put back over and the seat was working and we have an offer on her. Well, we had an offer and it was too low and so I went back to the guy. I haven't heard back from him. Hopefully he'll accept that offer. I have a kind of a backup plan for someone else that I've reduced the price for since I talked to her. So, but then Jason went to fix one more. You know when you go to like the oil, to get your oil changed and they do the little sensor that tells you it resets it and then it'll tell you when you need to get an oil job again. Well, they never like triggered that and so we've been trying to like, right, is it the same sensor that does the oil thing or is it some, something different? Anyway, it's a different one. But Jason's been trying to fix that little sensor because it shows but it's not. It's a, it's a traction control thing. Okay, anyway, he's not in a good mood now because he went to try and fix that sensor that just has one little, light that shows up but it's not an actual problem it just needs to be turned off and now the car won't start so <laughs> kind of glad that i don't have the guy getting back to me on wanting to buy the car or come and look at it because now the car won't start i'm gonna he was i was gonna do this when he's not in the room because he's not in a good mood so i'm gonna turn this off and make pancakes all right jason thinks he fixed it well i don't know i found a fuse that is definitely blown and it is the Fuses? ACGS. Whatever. Because we know that what that is. <laughs> so, but it's definitely blown, so I'm going to go try to restart it. <laughs> Let's hope it starts. So many wrong things with the car. Okay, yes. If this doesn't start, we don't have a car we can sell. Yay! Oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. Whoa, that didn't stop on its own? Oh gosh, you scared me. Maybe you should take it for a drive. Um, yeah, let me take it for a drive and see if that uh, other sensor thing went off. Otherwise, I know how to fix it. <laughs> no, you're not doing any more no, no, to no, fix I, it. I just put the wire in the wrong porthole. Let's not put wires <laughs> in the wrong holes, dude. I mean, no wire should go in the wrong hole. No, no one likes the wrong portholes. 
It's even Sunday. We should be very careful. Then it's like flocking a tree. You're just flocked. You're flocked. We'd be definitely flocked if <laughs> we couldn't get this car started and we just offered to sell it. So, back to pancakes. I'll be right back after I take it for a test drive to check the VSA thing. I really hope this car doesn't break down. Well, Shane will be glad because I just texted him telling him that you wouldn't, you weren't really willing to call him, but that the car wouldn't start. Well, go tell him I figured it out. We'll go drive over there and tell him. Why? What's he doing? You wouldn't call him, so I texted him instead. I said, "Hey, Jason won't text you because he's he doesn't want to take you away from your family today, but the car won't start now after you did what you're doing." I haven't heard back from him. Text him back and say, "Dude, I know, I know. I was just saying you could drive over there." Anyway, he doesn't like bothering our mechanic, even though they're like our best friends. He does not like bothering him on Sunday. Sundays are family days, so. Yes, it turned on. Yay! We officially have a car we can sell again. <laughs> so, thank you for monitoring my pancakes. You may go back. And are you gonna have this kind of syrup or the other kind of syrup? This is I, our new favorite syrup. This one is red raspberry, but we've I had don't like the. Like the red raspberry. You don't like that one? Could so I you're just gonna... actually come take over their dish? See, I pulled my hair back up. Oh, Too hot. Then I think our griddle. Can I put cream on my Just so Jason knows when he watches this video next, his next Father's Day present might have to be another griddle. It's either a griddle or a waffle maker. <laughs> <laughs> right? Literally all we get him is that. Yes. Or yeah. M and well, you your, or M and M's and root beer. No, that is a very And maybe you What? The marshmallow thing. Oh the s'mores? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy likes the s'mores, doesn't yeah. he? Um, I wish I had some M&M's to reward Daddy for fixing the car today. So, but he's driving it around to make sure that sensor went off. But if it didn't, I told him to just not mess with it anymore because I'm done. I don't want to break the car right when we're trying to sell it. night right Chelsea? Yeah. because tomorrow the kids do not have school teacher work day that's lovely <laughs> and I thought it was just the younger it's two kids day. no it's all of them it's kids and I was getting really worried there for a second that I wouldn't have a car a little stressful so um we're gonna watch what show are we gonna watch Moana, Moana. we it's have like not watched should be a kids Honolulu day. Yeah, it should be. Yes, we haven't watched Moana since they were little, little. Like, ha has no, Ashley actually like, seen it? Yeah, she has. I was I think like, she was just little. I was like seven to eight, and no, then that's Ashley last year, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're gonna watch Moana. Get back in the, the Aloha spirit. I've been listening to Hawaiian music. I said that I wanted to get back in the vibe for. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you watch it when I was four. Uh, no, we have not. I will show you three. Well, maybe. Three or four. It's been since you were three or four. Because we have not watched that movie in three or four, two or three years. So, they're going to sit and watch that. I will join them as soon as I am done eating my dinner. Yes, after I get dinner cleaned up. So. <laughs> Exploring hidden caves or surfing waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. A couple hours later, we watched Moana. It was very fun. The girls really enjoyed it. Chelsea, I think, has been watching it more than she says she did because she knew every single line. Like she would say them before it even like. She was quoting it. Yeah, she was totally quoting it. So it was a fun night. Ashley still had a problem going to bed. I don't even think she's asleep yet, right? No. And it's 10 p.m. and I'm done for the night. Um, so we're gonna sign off and we'll see you next time. And just remind you, 
when our videos go live, go ahead and click on them right away because it really does help my channel. And it is. I'm supposed to say, subscribe and hit the notification button. I know, but I don't want to be that tacky. I just want to get to cut to the chase. Like, thanks for watching. Okay, <laughs> Jason's being snarky on the side over here, but I can't show him because he's in his skivvies. So. We will see you guys later, and Ooh. thank you for watching. Oh my gosh, they're not sexy at all. <laughs> Bye, guys.